draw X cards, which is another clue for rip. That's an interesting one. What's Reading is one of the many pathways to knowledge. Also, hi Maddie. <laughs> hi Maddie. Uh, let's draw one for that one. Okay, I'm getting lots of stuff here. And I need to take a resource. Did you take your resource? Uh, I did not. Did you take one on for Jenny? I did not. Take two resources, because that's her ability, I believe. That is her ability. Uh, okay, so we've both taken our resources. We've done the things. It's the... Encounter time. Spooky, spooky time. So, how do, so what way should we go? Start from you and go left? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so, I'll start with Ash Campete. I'm doing real well, by the way, Maddie. Um, really good. The game, the game itself is going pretty good so far, but that's all about to change as I draw this horrible card. So, why are you doing that? I'm just going to rotate your gut, your dog back. I found an obscuring fog. Attach to your location. Attach location gets plus two shroud. That could have been worse. So that is now a plus. So that is could now a. Better. That is now a four location. Uh, that is now a four location. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to draw for yourself? Not, not, not especially. <laughs> You're going to draw for yourself. I'm going to have to, really, because that's how the game works. But uh... not, yeah, that side, and that is twist of twist fate, of... revelation. Reveal a random token from the chaos bag, or just turn the chaos bag over. Minus two. Take one. Um... Uh, if you reveal a star or positive number, nothing happens. If you reveal any other number, take one damage. So this is going well. So that goes to Discardy Pile. And then it is your turn. It is my turn. I have Stalked in the Dark. If Hunting Horror is in play, which it isn't. It's ready to engage you, attacks you, investigate your location. Otherwise, Stalking Dark gains surge. Viperine creatures, which had curiously distorted heads and grotesquely great clawed appendages. Really selling this. Yeah. Uh, so it gains surge, so I need to draw another one, and it's still my one. Hunting, Hunting horror. horror. So that's, yeah. immediately going, <laughs> so that's immediately going to engage with me, and for that I get a resource. What's this thing got? So it's two, three, and two. So it's beatable. When hunting horror enters play, attach the set aside shadow spawned to it. That is going to be interesting. So let's get this shadow spawn out. What does shadow spawn do? Hunting horror gets plus one fight, plus one health, and plus one evade for each resource on shadow spawned. How does one? Okay, so that's not taking effect at the moment. So basically that stays attached to it. Yes. Uh, and then each time it comes back again, it gain that shadow that shadow spawn gets a resource on it. Yes. Which is gonna be fun. I take it you read the bit that says if there are three resources on it, it becomes massive. I wish I hadn't read that bit, but yes I did. Um, Mr. Murphy now gets Mr. Murphy. passage into the veil. Test willpower three. This test has plus two difficulty if hunting quarry is at your location. It's not. Um, it's at my location. If you fail, you must either discard the top five cards of your deck or take one direct damage and deal one damage to each of your ally assets. Yay! I'm so your what? It is a test three willpower. And he has three willpower. Um, this is going well. I'm going to throw the old book of lore at this one to make it four. Just throw a book at this. Yes. Shuffle. Oh. Doesn't really matter. I failed. 
So you either discard five top five cards of your deck. It's going to be a top one direct damage and deal one damage to each of your right. allies. Four, five, and none of them were my weakness. Damn it! No, because then the weakness would have come into play. Well, no, it would have been discarded, wouldn't it? Revelation ability. Oh shit! Never mind. None of them were your weakness. That's a good thing. <laughs> okay, and after all that, it is now the we didn't put a thing on the um. A Gengar, so let's do that. There's a do one near Gengar now, because I forgot to do that. Yep. But never mind. It is now, press on. It's now our turn. What do we want to do? I need to deal with this thing first, actually. Yeah, deal with the Squirrelly Horror. Um, what damage does it do? There's one thing and one thing. Options, 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 options. Overpower is a good option. That gives me, that sends me up to four. It's four versus two at the moment. Vicious Blow gives us plus one damage. I'm going to do Vicious Blow first. So my first action is going to be to hit this thing. So that's four plus one is 5 versus 2 minus 1 that'll do it so this guy just takes 2 damage Yay. I'm not going to put the damage on it because hopefully I'm going to wipe it out with my next action um, and I'm just going to punch it normally for 4 versus 2 hey Jeff I don't want to I don't want to worry you, but if that thing becomes too big, I do have TNT. <laughs> if that comes too big, it won't be three damage anymore. I more mean I can just throw it in there with you. Yeah, I'm going to do a... Um, I'm going to just... <laughs> try, and, try and punch it. What's... Let's, pu let's punch it. Maddie says... Options, options, decisions, decisions. What I have choose? beaten what it. To choose? Why am I repeating myself? <laughs> so that's zero. So the monster is down, but it goes to the void. It's not defeated. It goes to the void. So what does that mean? That means it can come back. But it won't come back because of the encounter deck. It will come back because of card effects. Yay! So that was my second action, and my third action, I'm going to start putting some of this stuff down, actually. I'm going to put down Rite of Seeking. That'll set me up for my next go. Rite of Seeking, spend one charge, investigate using my willpower instead of my book, and if I succeed, discover one additional clue at this location. Bear with me a moment, Jeff. What? What did you have to decide, Maddie? What? 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 Scar said exactly what you had to do a few hours ago. Decisions, decisions, Maddie. Oh. And Maddie responded, "Don't remind me, Sammy. So much death." Wait, what? That's that's what I said. Anyway, <laughs> uh, is that your turn? That is my turn. On my turn, I'm. I'm also going to start revealing things from my hand. Uh, and I'm going to spend these six resources oh, to pull out a Derringer on one hand. That's and one also, action. Let's remember a uh, good old friend, Dr. Francis Morgan, who goes in a space. Here we go, you can go there. Dr. Francis Morgan, one ally. You should have an. Is next to your card, that's where his space is. Here. Oh, there. Yeah. That's good. Uh, oh, apparently uh, she did the backstory for her Team B of Space D&D. &D, uh, and apparently she rolled a lot of dead family and friends. <laughs> it's Michael all over again. Yeah. Okay, so that's your second action. Uh, so that's two. And then... Um... 
You can't investigate now because you've got no cards left. Um, I can't investigate here because I've got no cards left, but I can go back here and get exhausted. Okay, so... I'll just, I'll just be here, guys. I'll just be here. Well, that's good, actually, because... Oh, no, we need to be in the museum hall to, to spend clues, so... You do that guy next, and yeah, you, you, you do your thing. You do you. You do you. You don't need me to tell you. Um, um, okay. Uh, I am going to exhaust my dog. To investigate? To investigate. I'm also going to discard this unexpected courage. For two, okay. So that's... Commit this unexpected courage for plus two. Which means I'm at six versus the four versus shroud. Versus the four shroud. Yep. That will do it. That'll do it. And then if we read Obscuring Fog, after attached location is successfully investigated, discard Obscuring Fog. So Obscuring Fog is no more. For your second action, well, we need for, we need to, you need to be in the museum hallway to um, spend the clues. And Jenny is already there with one clue. So let me just move these out of the way for you. So, I mean, you, can I go back there and then we spend the four clues? That's your first action. This is your second action to move. Then your third action is to spend the clues. Yes. So I'll spend these three. And Jenny can spend these one. So that's gone. And one is gone, and the and we get Egyptian exhibit comes down, and I need to put the extra clues on it. So if we fail a skill test while at the Egyptian exhibit, we lose an action. Okay, so that's that one's done. So it is now the turn of Rex. Oh, no, I don't want to change teams. So Rex is going to move... Well, his first action is going to be to move there. His second action is going to be to move into here. Hey. Bye, Rex. And... Or is he best off going over there? Because you can get more... He could get more clues from there. He's going to move over to here. I'm sorry. And that's an event. Maddie says, don't fail, guys. Don't fail. We'll try not to fail. No so, pressure. So that's two, and his book is four. So he needs to win by two or more to get two clues out. So shuffle that. That'll do it. That'll do it. One, two. So that's his... Third action now. So that, yeah, one to move down, one to move into there, and one to intimidate. So flip, and that's that turn over. So. Oh no, he couldn't do that because he was. Um... So I need to undo all of that because he couldn't investigate because he had four cards. Oh. Uh... So just return those to there. So instead of that, that never happened. So does he want to come down to the exhibit hall? What's the exhibit hall? That's a three. That's a three, but it's also a victory one if we clear it. Yeah, he's going to move down to the exhibit hall. And he's going to... Uh, da, 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 da. He's just going to, he's just going to um, investigate from there. And it's his last action, so if he doesn't make it, it doesn't matter. So... Doop. Never mind. He gets one. Never didn't have it. He got one clue from that, not two. That's yeah. it. We'll take it, shall we? We'll take it. It it it's not as good as could be if he had more cards in hand. But we'll take no, it. He doesn't. Okay, so now we draw our cards because there's no enemies on the board. Because you killed it. Yep. He takes a resource. Ooh. And I keep doing that. I keep forgetting that the zoom goes to the mouse cursor. 
draw that and take a resource. And that was Blinding Light. Ooh, that's an evasion one. That'd be good. Maddie does indeed say, "Tis better than nothing." Tis indeed better than nothing. Uh, so that's one resource for you, and then I'll come back over to Jenny, who gains two resources. Yeah, she's she's Daddy's little girl. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're all set up for the next turn. Let's put the doom on it before we do anything else. Flippy, flippy, flip, flip. Thank you. All right, start again from the same same way. Uh, I'm going to start with Jenny because I'm on her seat already. Okay. Jenny has... Oh. Curse, curse Luck. Put Curse Luck into play in your threat area. You get minus one during skill tests. After you succeed at a skill test by one or more, discard it. Okay, that could have been worse. This is for Ashkan. Meanwhile, for Ashkan Pete. John learns the difference between <laughs> visions of futures past. Test five to the mind. For each point you fail by, discard the top card of your deck. So you need to switch to Ashkan to do that. Uh, okay, so that is... Uh, okay, so he's got a four. Yep. Uh, do I have anything that I want to... No, not especially. Just going to do it. Just going to do it. Take the, whole, take the whole bag, that's good. Throw the whole thing at them. Always had it, never didn't have it. Okay, that's a fail by one. So you drop one card, that's okay. And that one card is working on a hunch. That would have been a clue card, wouldn't it? That would have been a clue card. Right. The encounter for Zoe is... Not an enemy, it's a locked door. Attached to the location with the most clues without a locked door attached and it can't be investigated. So that's got... Uh, that would definitely be the security hall. What's this? Why did I draw two? Where did that card come from? That's the entire yeah, encounter deck. That's, that's the encounter deck. Yes. Oh, no, man, I'm taking this one. And for this guy, Arcane Barrier attached to your location. As an additional cost, move into out of your location. Test Willpower 4. Is successful? Discard Arcane Barrier. Otherwise, you smother it. Cancel the effects of the move or discard the top five cards of your deck. So he's stuck there for the moment. So you can't leave. Yes. Unless he tests the willpower of four. And none of us can get in. Unless he tests the willpower of four. So. Meanwhile, uh, we've got to come to the security office and kick the locked door down. Yes. Well, I might be able to do that straight. I might be able to do that because I'm quite strong. Have I got anything that can increase my strength? I've got one for fight. Um, that's an ally. Maddie says, there's no escape. None, I say. <laughs> right. Who wants to go first? Uh, per, um, Ashcan Pete does. Duke and Ashcan Pete do. I'm going to exhaust Duke. And we're going to move back into here, and, and we're going to investigate. That's and fail by one. Four, yeah. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, you could just try it straight up because he's got it's a shard of two. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's give it a go. Shuffle it first. Yeah. Shuffly shuffle. And minus one. Okay. That's your second action. And your third action. Why Do not? Let's try the same thing over again. Well, fuck. <laughs> minus one. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that was a fun turn. Do you want to try Jenny while you're there? Sure, why not? 
Oh, so, okay, Jenny's turn. Same again? Uh, no, because she's only got four cards in hand. Uh, you can draw a card as an action. Oh, can you? Yeah. Um... Mm. I might just try punching the door down. Okay. So you're going to move to the thingy and punch the door down? Yeah, so I'll move. Hey, uh, chef woman. Hello. Uh, whose name I can totally remember. Hey, Zoe. <laughs> it's, it's not like we've been through a lot tonight. No. Uh, I'm going to try and punch the door down. So it is four versus my four. Uh... Yep. So it's, it, it, it's an evens roll at the moment, and I have a skull. Okay. Did you shuffle it last time? I did. Okay. I'm going to try that again. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Right, I'm going to. Okay, never mind. Take on Rex at the moment. I'm I'm tired now. <laughs> it was all going so well. Well, Rex is going to. He can't play. Right, first action, he's going to take a resource. Second action, he's going to play a flashlight. Yay! Which, if I remember rightly, gets minus two shroud for the investigation. So that's three down to one. So I'm going to play a resource. That's a better that. number. So that's first action, second action. Third action is going to be investigate that guy. So he is at four versus one. So if he gets a minus one or better, he gets two clues. Come on, Rexy boy. That'll do. That's minus one. Yay! So we'll grab these two clues. Uh, Scar says, time to be brave. Run away, guys. <laughs> and that... says, nah, not a lot. That's his not a done. lot at all. I'm sure you guys are only just beginning. That uh, guy's... Scar then said, the important thing is, you're trying, guys. We are trying, yes. We won't be taking that effect away you are trying and indeed you seem close to faint or die john you should sleep tonight i should sleep tonight i need to get Good rid night. i'm going to try and get rid of this arcane barrier i think if successful discard arcane barrier test four so i'm going to try and move into this egyptian hall and try and get rid of this arcane barrier okay so, test willpower 4, and I'm going to add to that my clarity of mind to get a 5, or should I get this guy? I don't need that. So I'm going to drop Henry Armitage for 2 willpowers. You're just kind of throwing him at the portal. I am, yes. So that's 6 versus 4. Please be good. That will do it. Good Arcane job, Barrier... Henry. Goes away and Zoe goes in. Maddie says sleep is something that is important <laughs> to everyone. Yep. And also the Tech Ninja Bot would like you to know that we have a very active YouTube channel. Please head <laughs> over there to watch uh, stream replays as well as exclusive gameplay videos and live action content. I'm going At to... some point in the not too distant future I'll be opening another loot gaming box because they'll <laughs> send me one of those. Uh... Because I I had one for about three weeks because it came the week of MCM Expo and then I just kind of went, I'm just going to open this. Arkham Horror will continue after these messages. And then I was vastly disappointed by the contents of it. And so uh, I'll continue these messages. Uh, stay tuned to MCM October where I take a leaf out of the Spammels book and have a segment of the FBF stand that will be selling my shit. <laughs> uh, where I will be selling the unwanted things I've gotten in loot crates. 